Okay, all right. Well, we're back in here in the living room. What I've done now is I've moved over to one of the wall registers that goes down to the heating system. Uh, this is what we're going to do now. It's called a pressure pan test. This is actually a supply vent. Now, this is supposed to be pushing uh, air from the duct system into the house. Ideally, this is a sealed system or a closed loop. We have returns and supplies, but it circulates indoor air. And you remember how we was talking about 50 was outdoors and zero was indoors. So if I take this gauge, again, like I had it set up for the zone test, the only thing I'm doing different is I'm gonna put the hose instead of uh, in a wall or an attic, is I'm gonna put it on the end of this, what we call a pressure pan, and we're gonna put it right over this vent. And ideally, since this is a, should be a closed system, if I take the pan and put it over it, it should read close to zero like it is right now. We get anything higher than zero, like say five or six, you know, even higher than that, that means we've got air that's leaking to the outdoors. And it's very important that we need to seal it because that is our conditioned air. And that means it's not even making it into the house, it's just staying in the crawl space. You know, and sometimes the crawl space may be warmer than the house because you're getting all the warm air, a lot of it blowing out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pan and I'm gonna put it right over this register. And a lot of times you can just feel air coming out but I'm gonna put this over here and see what kind of number we get. Put this on here. Right here is our number right now. And that's 13. And that's not a good number. We want, ideally you would like to have less than 1.0 and that's on a scale of 50. So, and the reason that is, is because a duct system, you have a lot higher pressure on a duct system. If I had a, a hole this size in the duct and a hole the same size in the house, the one in the duct would leak a lot more because it has that furnace fan, it has that high pressure on it all the time. Plus it's your conditioned air. So it's really important that those get sealed. Uh, I don't have a screwdriver to take this loose right here, but if you notice, this is actually on an exterior wall. And sometimes where these registers go into what we call the boot, the boot doesn't come through the sheetrock very well and it's got a bit, they made the hole bigger than the duct is. So some of this leakage that I may be picking up may be from the wall itself. Once you take the register off, there may be a gap around that. That needs to be sealed. Plus we would seal it from underneath. We typically will use mastic or we'll use a foam product to seal and insulate at the same time. But basically you want to take this pan, go around the entire house. You want to do all the supply registers, all the returns. Sometimes, I was mentioning earlier, we was talking about a central return. This pan's not gonna cover the whole return. Uh, or let's say we had a grill that's on the wall that I couldn't get my pan over. Sometimes they had those angled registers. You could take something like this, it's called duck mask or something similar, even masking tape. And you could just tape off the register, something like this. That blocks the, or contains the air. Then you could take a probe or a hose I'm just going to put this pro, uh, hose back on here, this other one. And at the end of that's a little probe. John had one of those. I don't know if he showed you this too, but it's just a little probe. And we're not measuring flow. It's just a tiny hole right in there. We're measuring pressure. So I can actually take that and slip it right in there. You know, and we're getting basically the same reading as I got a minute ago. I got a little bit of leak right there. But again, you know, that's higher than what we want, higher than the one. So we would go around to each one of these. We would only do one at a time. If I taped this one off and taped the one off next to it over there, I would be getting, be getting a false reading. I may be getting leakage at that one showing up over here. So you only want to do one at a time. You want to do all of them. You want to go around the house, probably either clockwise or counterclockwise. Have your sheet of paper. List each register, what your reading is beforehand. When you're air sealing a house, you want to seal the duct work. And then when you're done, you say, well, I started out at 12.0, and now I'm down to 0.9. Did I do a good job? You did a great job. And that way you know that's sealed, you know that the heat's gonna come in the house and the air conditioner's gonna come in the house. Uh, so the pressure pan, you know, it's just a really quick uh, and easy way to determine if you've got outdoor air coming in. And again, you can just check each one of those registers through the house and uh, you can really make a huge difference. Mobile homes are, are notorious if you work on a lot of mobile homes. The ducts where they come up through the floor, they're stapled together, the staples come out and the ducks will fall down.